estimated half million people will watch the western and southern WEBN fireworks Sunday night. And they'll be on land and in the water. And Local 12's Megan Mongello is live along the Ohio River with important information for boaters. Megan. Well, hi, Paula. When you talk about a packed crowd, you think of people sitting and watching it on land, but two thousand boats are expected to pack in to watch the booms go off on Sunday night and we are at the Riverside Public Landing. I talked to the caretaker here and she said last year 350 people launched their boats from the dock right behind me so it is going to be a very busy day and this area right here is right where the no wake zone starts and that is definitely one of the messages the U.S. Coast Guard wants to get out there to all the boaters. They are saying to go slow. The zone is in effect from the village Hills Marina to the Four Seasons Marina up off Kellogg Avenue. That is in effect from noon Sunday until three in the morning. So well after that fireworks show is over, there will also be a temporary closure of the entire river. That means no boats are allowed between the area of the Roebling Suspension Bridge and the Big Mac Bridge. That is from 7 p.m. until 10 p.m. We talked to Lieutenant Jim Brendel and he says the boaters need to know to get in place early. We established three anchorages, which there's one at the, the mouth of the Licking River in Covington, and then there are two on either side of the Ohio River, uh, just upstream of the Big Mac Bridge. So you need to be there early. So, because if you're not there by seven o'clock, you're not going to be there because the river is closed. The lieutenant we talked to also said that there's some safety advice he wants to make sure people know before they head out to the water this weekend. Have a life jacket, wear a life jacket. He said do a safety check of your boat and make sure you have enough battery power. It sounds easy, but if you're, you know, getting out there in, in the early morning and you're coming back late at night, you want to have enough battery power for your cell phone, for whatever you need, and make sure to make sure your boat has all the safety features on it. So that is some good advice, but the most important, he said, is to make sure the person who is driving that boat remain sober. Reporting live in Riverside, Megan Mongello, Local 12 News. So true, and just take your time. It's a fun event. No one has to hurry. Thanks, Megan.